Hi folks. On this beautiful day, I'm going to bring up a topic about the chord stack. You heard right, because, to make a chord stack that sounds strong and beautiful, is quite easy, and sometimes difficult. All we need is a few layers, layers of various sounds, it could be a square wave, pad, or violin, or even a rain sound. But for starters, especially, if there are newbies watching, I'll start with something easy. I'll use serum for all layers except white noise. So if you guys don't use serum, forgive me. Without wasting any more time, let's get started. My first layer. I used each and saw wave with six voices. Also a little white noise. And multi-band compressor in the FX tab. And envelope like this, making the resulting sound better than the default shape. And for the second layer, I turn on all the sounds on the oscillator tab, including the filter. As you can see, I am using saw wave for sub and oscillator A. And there are 5 voices on oscillator A. And 50% volume for oscillator A. And 25% for sub. For oscillator B, I use a square wave with 8 voices, and the volume is slightly lower than oscillator A. Also, a little pink noise. And last but not least, filters, to give it a slightly warmer feel. Now, switch to the FX tab. I use 3 FX, distortion, equalizer, and multiband compressor with the settings you can see. Then for the third layer, for oscillator A, I use hyper wave table with 16 voices and warping mode FM from B. And for oscillator B, I use the default saw wave with warping mode sync. And for the FX I use, the first is distortion, the second is hyper dimension, and the third is the multiband compressor. You can find this patch in the 100k serum presets. And the next layer is just a square salt wave without any FX on the FX tab. And to give it a crispy feel, I added noise. For the base layer, first, I use crunchy bass. This patch can also be found in the 100k serum presets. I think I don't need to tell you about the things in the oscillator tab, the FX tab, and the matrix tab. All I need to say is in the global tab, which is the width for both oscillators A and B. I use a width of 50 for both oscillators. It makes the bass neither too wide, nor too mono. The second layer for bass is also found in the 100k serum presets, and this patch is completely mono. The third bass layer, can be set to be crunchy re space. For oscillator A, I use salt wave with two voices, and warping mode, bend minus. And oscillator B uses the default salt wave, with warping mode, FM from A. Forgive me if all these wave tables are not salt wave. And a sub that uses salt wave and a little hum noise, as well as an active filter that gives a little bit of warmth. In the FX tab, I just use distortion to give it a little gritty taste and 100% width for both oscillators. And don't you forget the sub bass. So far you have succeeded, in making the chord stack. You have put together all the sounds I showed. But of course I'm sure it still sounds like trash, it's because, it hasn't been mixed. And I'm sorry I can't show you how to mix it up. Because I'm not good at mixing sounds, and have absolutely no idea, about the theory or the technique. So, I'm not that competent in explaining things, about mixing. Anyway, give your chord stack, a top lead, because, it will give direction to your song. No matter if your song has vocals or not. This is a comparison, when you use top lead, and without using top lead. As well as various other elements, such as arp, pluck, and melody.
Sometimes, making court stack can be very difficult, and also very easy, but that's the kind of condition you will face, not just in making music I guess. Keep practicing, no need every day, but stable. And believe me, one day, you will reach the point where you will be proud of yourself. Until then, good luck.